Hi, Ross here. This is my uh, Dodge Caravan. 2006 with a 3.8 liter uh, V6. And uh, I was getting a P0404 um, reading on my OBD2. Scan tool, hooked it up. There's some good videos on how to remove the EGR in this location. I had to uh, remove or loosen the alternator bolt just to get a little bit of clearance on the, uh, the bottom bolt here. Uh, so like I said, there's some good videos on how to remove it, but I'll show you what I found with mine. Okay, here's the EGR removed from the vehicle. Um, the exhaust, yeah, it's normally in this position. So the exhaust here, inlet here. Now the problem is there's nothing here that moves. You can't tell if this valve is working. There is a, um, a spring clip here in the top and this cap that can be removed. Uh, I took the spring clip out, but I couldn't get the cap to budge. So um, I didn't know what I was faced with with this problem. Now what I ended up checking out is I checked continuity and uh, resistance between pin 4 and 5 down here and I got about I think it was about 7 ohms or something resistance so between 4 and 5 that means the solenoid was good but if I put 12 volts on there it still didn't move and here's the uh, the best part. What I did is I took uh, these nail pullers, cutters, and I opened up these tabs. There's six tabs on the case here. Gently removed the lid here, and voila, here's the solenoid. And what I found was, sure enough, this solenoid was stuck. So the way the motion of the valve was, I wasn't even sure if the valve moved up or down or whatever. But I pushed on this and I got it unstuck. And you'll see there's a spring action there. So what happens is this little valve moves up. And it's very hard to see any motion in here at all. Uh, there's only a little piece of shaft that you can see down in the bottom of that uh, port where the shaft moves a little bit and I put a, f a couple of drops of oil in there which I hope won't cause me problems later but what I did is I worked on this just freeing it up the first time and then it was still a little bit sticky and I just kept um, working that valve the other thing I did is this is these are the connectors here to 4 and 5 I took my um, battery charger 12 volts and put 12 volts on here and sure enough the solenoids sucked in so here's the resistance check to verify the solenoid, pins 4 and 5, and I get about 6.4 ohms, 6.5 ohms. So that's the inside of the, um, of the EGR valve. There's the solenoid and the motion, how that works. Uh, this valve goes up, very hard to, to clear the thing here if you can't get that cap off and, and I wasn't sure how to get that cap off easily. I'm gonna put it back on the vehicle and see if it works. Well it seems to have worked. I um, drove for about 15 minutes with the check engine light still on. Didn't notice any difference really in idle or drivability uh, but then I uh, used my scan tool, erased the code, have driven for another 20 minutes and uh, light has stayed off. So, sounds good. I'll have to do my emissions test in the next couple of days. Thanks. Hope that helps you.